Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the real technology behind India's ancient rock cutting techniques. By the end of this video, I hope you will agree with me that these brilliant temples were not created with primitive tools. Archaeologists insist that these massive rocks were cut with no more than chisels and hammers. First, let's take a look at their theory of how ancient builders cut these huge rocks. After a rock is chosen, they would carve a series of holes that is about one inch wide and two inches deep. Then they would place wooden wedges and hammer them all in. After this, they would pour hot water on the wedges and the wedges would expand inside the rock. If they keep pouring hot water on these wedges every day, the rock would eventually split into half. Now this not only works for small rocks, but will also split huge rocks like the one I'm standing next to. This rock is 25 feet wide and 15 feet tall, but if you look closely, you can see a series of chisel marks on the top, and you can see how even a huge boulder like this can be cut using simple things like wedges and hot water. This is pretty convincing evidence, so why am I roaming all over ancient Indian sites? Because to cut a rock using this technique would take months. The ancient builders have to keep pouring water for many months to get this rock to split into two halves. However, we have documented evidence that many of these temples were built in a few years. If it takes several months to split one rock into two halves, how are these brilliant temples made of thousands of huge rocks built in just a few years? The numbers simply don't add up. There must have been some other technology to cut these huge rocks out of hills and mountains. I got the first glimpse of a totally different technique of rock cutting in the hills of Hampi in South India. There is a drill mark which is about 1 to 2 feet long. There are no chisel marks on this rock whatsoever and you can see that this rock has been sliced into half. If this is an ancient rock cutting technique, it changes everything we know. However, is this really ancient or? Was it done in recent years? I must find more evidence of this technique because experts will dismiss this as something that's been done in the last 10 years with modern machines. So I decided to go to Mahabalipuram, which is an ancient site that is protected by the Department of Archaeology. Mahabalipuram stretches for many miles and rock cutting has been banned for the last 50 years to protect the ancient monuments in this area. Let's go deep into the woods and see if we can find the same rock cutting technique. Here we can see the same type of rock cutting technique where you see one single drill mark and the rock has been split open. You can see how a series of this drilling was done on different rock faces and the rocks have been cut open. This was not done in recent times because there are trees and bushes growing in the place now where the other half of the rock once stood. So this is in fact the ancient rock cutting technology, drilling a hole into a huge rock and splitting it into half. And I also found some unfinished rocks very near to the ancient monuments of Mahabalipuram, which proves that this technique was used at least 1300 years ago. You cannot see them on finished monuments because these drill marks would have been polished and removed. We can see these same drill marks on the unfinished rocks. This huge rock standing nearly 20 feet tall has been split into half and you don't see any chisel marks on the sides, just one single drill mark. If you look closer, you can see that a drilling tool has been passed 
straight into the rock around the height of 10 feet, which has split the rock open. This conclusively proves that this is how the ancient builders cut the rocks so fast. While wedges in water would take months to cut a rock, drilling through these rocks would split them open right away. This is why ancient builders were able to build massive temples like the Kailasa Temple in just a few years. So this proves that this is how ancient rocks were cut really fast. But this raises many interesting questions. All the rocks you've seen cut using this technique are made of granite. This is the hardest rock in the world. Today, we use diamond tip drill bits to drill through granite. What primitive tool could drill through these massive rocks for more than a feet? Were advanced machines used thousands of years ago, just like what we use today? If you look at these tool marks, it is very smooth and reminds us of modern day drilling. This kind of smooth drilling into granite is impossible unless you have high powered machines. What kind of technology existed back then? Were machines used in ancient India? How else do we explain this rock cutting technology? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.